Well, we're back in My Cool Inventions Network with Wayne uh, in the Tampa Bay Inventions Inventors Council. Inventors Council. Inventors Council. Now, we've been talking about uh, uh, some knowledge. You're the president of the Tampa Bay's Inventors Club and, and, and count, sorry, Council. Uh, so, <laughs> you, you encourage people to go to trade shows, right? Yeah. Now, right. we just lost one of our biggest trade shows, the Electronic Retailing Association Show. That organization's been around for, I guess, 20 years or so. I used to go to their Las Vegas. I used to go to all three. Las Vegas. I used to go to the uh, Florida. Miami. Uh, my, my I guess Miami one also. I used to do the European one. And what happened is abruptly, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they announced they're folded. Poof, yeah. gone. Just yeah. done. They just closed the door. Which yeah, if is- you go to the website right now, they've, they've got a, a statement up there. Uh, that says uh, the board of directors of the Electronic Retailing Association has been contemplating the future direction of the association despite having completed one of the most successful USDC fly-ins. Uh, essentially, they went out of business. They they Actually, I think they're going to declare Chapter 7. Or yeah. Chapter, yeah, whatever that chapter right. is. That they, they went insolvent. They went insolvent. And you, you expect why, but they were charging a small ransom to go to the door. <laughs> I mean, I, ch- I went to the Miami one because I had an infomercial to sell that flip ban, and I, I sold it to a bunch of country, uh, I guess countries. And that was a great show because all the international guys were there. And we, if you had an infomercial, you could sort of hook up with them and team up with them, and you can, you can go get it done. And they're gone. So what? So So how does that affect you? Well, seeing as I I wasn't planning on going to any of the uh, (laughs) Electronic Retailing Association (laughs) events, uh, I have in the past. I've also gone to the Vegas show, and, uh, you know, they they did do some nice stuff for inventors. They They, they had an inventor's um, pavilion and would, would get you in contact with... Some of the people that were generating the infomercials and but, commercials and that sort of stuff. But you know, it was rubbish at the end. I mean, I thought the inve- I thought this inventors area was really poorly done at the end. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Listen, yeah. I'm speaking my mind on there. So, but trade shows are important to inventors, right? Yeah. So, what is it? So, why do you think an inventor should go hit trade shows? Well, there there are really three main main reasons that uh, you want to go to a trade show, and you know. One of them is uh, discovery. You want to find out what's what's going what's on. What's going on? Uh, you want to find, you know, what's the pain point that people are looking for? What are the things that uh, that people want to, f- you know, have developed? What do they need? What do, what is it that people absolutely have to have? Because that's what you want to create. So let me tell you another way. So it's not just about inventors. You know, in, if you're a business person, you're an entrepreneur, you have a local shop, even a legal shop, go to the home show. Go to the local home show. I always tell I always tell people this. Why go to a trade show? Why do all that? Because, you know, FaceTime is everything. You know, the relationship building is everything. And you look for trends. In fact, I go to China, to the Hong Kong Electronics Show, and I go to the, Guan, the, the Canton Fair. And one of the main things I'm looking for is trends. I pick up trends that are two years away from being here. I see I see, I see mm-hmm. uh, technology trends that I see if I can capitalize on them by being first. So so discovery is a really important thing. So why else would you go to a trade show? Well, of course, uh, one of the other reasons that you want to go to a trade show is you want to find resources. You want to find uh, research and de- you want to do some research and development. Find people that, that build products that can build your prototypes. So like vendors. Them. So you're looking for vendors. Exactly. Because in an vendor's case, you're looking for a guy for the proto Type. You might look for a lawyer for a patent. You mm-hmm. might look. So if you make, maybe you're inventing stuff, you got a warehouse full of stuff. You're looking for a warehouse facility, maybe a logistics firm, maybe like maybe a, a consultant for Amazon or te- yeah. teach you the digital world. Uh, and there's some great shows. Uh, you know, Amcom uh, just completed. What's an Amcom? Uh, American Manufacturing Convention. What? Yeah. Uh, All these shows that I, I used to do a hundred. Tra- I have teams of people on doing trade shows. I've never heard of that show. Where is it? Uh, well, you you can go to a couple of different. Uh, I got a couple of different websites, and we can probably tell me probably list some of these. Um, That's why we're listening. The, the expo <laughs> expo database dot com will will give you a, a, a good look at uh, a whole bunch of different trade shows that are going on. Expo database dot com. Expo database dot com. That's a pretty good lead. Okay. Uh, now there's uh, of course there are people that that are in the business of selling exhibits. Right. And so. They've they've got a really good listing of trade shows and stuff that are going on. Who are they? Uh, that's the uh, absoluteexhibits.com top or slash top 100 USA shows. They need to uh, go to a consultant to yeah, figure they, out a they, shorter they website out. name. Uh, you can go also go to the trade show network. <laughs> oh, trade show com. Network. Trade show network com. That's a good website. Uh, and. Um, uh, I used to like uh, TSNN, but for for some reason they they've kind of changed their website around. They... TSNN. If you're listening in Canada, it's not TSN. <laughs> that's a sports network. This is TSNN. So an extra N. And then you can also check out 10times.com/slash trade show. 
and see a whole bunch of different trade shows all over the world. So give that list to Tony. Tony will type them all up there and throw them up on the feed here so <laughs> sure. everybody can see them. Uh, Georgie Bowling says, sounds awesome mm-hmm. on there. She's listening. So a bunch of trade shows. So go to trade shows. We're going to put this resources up on the yeah. fa- the Facebook stream there, uh, maybe even the YouTube one, so you guys can all see and it. the Society of Manuka- uh, Manu... Manufacturers and engineers. It's the Society of Manufacturers and Engineers. There's an exciting group of people you want to have a beer with. (laughs) SME.org. Oh, SME.org. Yeah. Oh, I've had a bunch of engineers go through my life. They're very. (laughs) Hey, Steve Warple just said hello. Hey, Steve. Uh, You know who that guy is? That's the Glide guys, and he's going on Inventor Showdown. Uh, uh, He's going through QA right now. Uh, Good luck to Steve. I I love this guy because they have the uh, a new furniture glide. You know those furniture glides? Oh, sure. But you know what he solved? You know how sometimes invention is just improving something that's Mm -hmm. been out there. You know how a furniture glide normally is, I was on, I do my workout last night, we use uh-huh. it in the workouts, they're flat and they slide kind of flat, but if you have a chair and an angle, it doesn't really work very well. He solved that angle thing, so like any chair thing, like, cool, very good inventors, I love those guys. And, and of course the third reason that you want to go to a trade show is What's that? you want to show your stuff. You want to show your stuff. You want to get selling. That's important. You want to get selling. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. When I, when I tell inventors all this, they have, they, everybody I come across, and I've come across thousands of inventors. My goodness gracious, uh, I think our database is, I think, six or 7,000 deep now. And uh, you know, we've met a lot of these guys and, and girls. And what they want to do is I tell people, he goes, I don't want to do a trade. I'm going to throw it up on Amazon. I go, no, 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 stop. Yeah, really? I go, here's what you want to do. You want to meet people. Well, you know, you and it's an evolution. When you're you got to get feedback. You got to get feedback and it's an evolution. I'm not saying you're going to get to where you're going, but as long as you're out there walking, you're moving, right? And if you're at home sitting on your hands, I can guarantee the outcome. But if you're out there at a trade show, discovering, learning, uh, uh, seeing the new trends and of course also selling your stuff, always good things happen when you go out there and sell your stuff. And it don't actually have to go to trade shows to get in front of people. You can, um, One Million Cups is a terrific What's organization. A, I heard about this. What, to tell everybody, what is a One Million Cups? Uh, the idea is uh, solutions can be resolved or solved over a million cups of coffee. Uh, oh, it's a million cups of coffee. That's they how provide much you, the free coffee. And that's how many cups I have before lunch. <laughs> and they have uh, show uh, events every week. Typically every Wednesday uh, in Tampa Bay, we've, we're lucky we've got one in St. Pete and one in Tampa. So, we've so got wait a minute, so here. you go every Wednesday to a million cups meeting? Uh, no, I, I don't. But well, there is a million. So are, how many people show up to those things? Dozens. Uh, some, Dozens? Sometimes, uh, sometimes the room is full. So, so you I go mean, in there and have a cup of coffee? Well, the two presenters get eight minutes to pitch their ideas, talk about what, what it is that they've developed. Okay. And then the audience has 20 minutes to give them feedback. To talk about, you know, what well, so have you thought about this? how long start to finish? An hour? One hour. Then you're out, go to work. Yeah. What time in the morning is it? Uh, it's usually 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Well, where do they, what do they hold it? Uh, Listen, you guys are listening in Tampa. Might as well give away the Tampa addresses. So, so where do you? Uh, it's at the Greenhouse in St. Petersburg and at the... Uh, the Greenhouse in St. Petersburg. Where is that? Um, that's, uh, I think, around 4th Street. Um, is that where it's, the, the... It's near the... Um, the Sundial. Okay, Sundial. Okay, downtown. Okay, and, and we're in Tampa. And in Tampa, it's in Ebor. It's at the uh, Economic Development. Uh, the Economic place. Development Place at Ebor. A bunch of people smoking cigars down there. <laughs> they still make cigars down in Ebor? I think there's still one place. Uh, one place still, that actually rolls a cigar down cigars there? cigars down there, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So Million Cups is a good place to go. So trade shows. What mm-hmm. else you got for us? Uh, go to a Maker Fair. I mean, there's What's a some, Maker Fair? Maker Fairs are anybody that creates, makes, or develops things. They're fairs for that. They're fairs for that and wow. really extremely creative stuff. Um, you know, I've been doing this like 40 years and, and you're teaching me new stuff. <laughs> Maker Fair, okay, cool. There's a, there's a big one coming up in September in New York. Um, they've, they've got them in um, San Francisco is I think where it's is it like or, arts or and California. Is, is it, it like those arts and, craft, sorry, arts and craft fairs? There are some <laughs> stuff like that, but you know they've got giant uh, two-story high Fire breathing robots. They got Whoa. all kinds of really. Tony, cool we got to go check out some fire breathing robots. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. bring some. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> so maker fairs. What else? Uh, and uh, you can go to. Well, obviously there are lots of different uh, events. There's um, the uh, National uh, Hardware Show, the That's Home Houseware Show. Yeah, I know those two. Uh, licensing Expo. Just Light, I know just that had just that. happened. Did you go to? Have you go to that one? I uh, haven't been to that one. Uh, one that just finished uh, er- earlier this week was E3. That was kind 
kind of one of my favorites to go to because, you know, they've they've Electronic Entertainment Expo. It's more the gaming stuff. Um, and you know they've they've got all kinds of crazy displays and people dressed in all kinds of you know different. So Where do you go dressed as? <laughs> a tourist. A tourist. Uh, <laughs> I had a guy in my office just yesterday. He's got like millions of followers. He's one of the leading gamers in the world, and he actually streams video, and hundreds of thousands of people watch him stream a game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm incredible. gonna say that again because I didn't understand it at first. That's he plays video games and he streams it to YouTube and what's that? What's that other one they use? Uh, Clicker, whatever the, the gaming site is. Uh, so he streams it and then people watch him play for like six hours. Yeah, it's incredible. I suddenly thought I was growing up under a rock. I go, wow, and that's a whole thing I didn't even hear about. I didn't even know about that. Did you know about that, Tony? And of course, people watching people play video games. Yeah, and, and they make CBS. money off of it too. Get out. Yeah. The other the other platform is Twitch. That's the one I was thinking of. Twitch, thank you. Twitch, See, I've got these yep. young kids in here that help me out when I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. Uh, CES is obviously. I love CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. Now, if you're going to go, there, you have to bring, uh, obviously, you got to bring your cards. Yeah. Uh, you got to bring your prototypes if you have you some show videos, and tell, yeah. if you've got some stuff that you can show. Um, bring a one sheet so that you can hand something to somebody. We that, call that a that, cell sheet. Okay. Cell go, sheet. Yeah. One sheet, whatever you want to call it. Um, Bring your prototypes, uh, yep. your stuff. Bring a camera, a microphone, um, so that you can record. You know, you never know. You might get testimonials and stuff like that right. from people. And that's always great stuff to have for your your YouTube channel, your website, or promoting. You know, your stuff when You're you can show it to people. Right. Um, you can bring a note, bring a notepad so that you can jot notes. Maybe an NDA if you've got something that you've got to keep uh, sealed. And a positive attitude. Clean clothes, good hygiene, and for crying out loud, have good breath because you don't want to turn <laughs> off somebody just because you have bad breath. Well, there's some good advice from Wayne from the Tampa Bay Invention Council, Inventors Council. Let me tell you something, tbic.us. Check these guys out, Wayne. Thank you very much. Y'all come back. You're going to come back again, aren't you? Absolutely. Awesome stuff. Hey, deal of the day coming up right after this. Thank you.